Hi guys, this is Tammy with the Rusted Willow, and if you like DIYs, hauls, flips, and everything farmhouse on a budget, you are in the right place. Let's get into DIY number one. Okay, so this first DIY is pieces of a bed post that my husband cut down, and he was gonna throw these little squares away. Can you believe the nerve of him? Seriously, we don't throw anything away in this house. Well, at least I don't throw anything away in this house, but he tries to throw away everything in this house. <laughs> so I dug these little squares out of the trash and they were perfect to make little shelf setters. Oh my gosh, I said it right this time. So what I did was I gave this, um, these two little squares and they already had holes in them because they came off of a bedpost. Um, two good coats of white chalk paint. And then I'm cutting out the little squares on the back of my new 2021, I guess 2022 calendar. And, um, or maybe it is 2021. Heck, I don't know. Anyway, the new farmhouse calendars. And they fit perfectly oh my gosh and I don't know about you guys but I am loving 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 this black truck I'm kind of burnt out on the red truck but I'm loving me that black truck so now I'm just giving this a uh, coat a light coat of distressing with my Waverly antiquing wax and then I use my glue stick because when I use Mod Podge on the back it wrinkles so I always use a glue stick and I don't know why I put it on the paper. I should have just put it on the wood. And guys, you can even use wood glue, like wood glue works good. Elmer's glue, a glue stick, anything like that will work when sticking down paper on wood. And then if you go over it with the Mod Podge, you won't have wrinkles. Just make sure that you don't overdo it with the Mod Podge because when you saturate it, that's when you have wrinkles, especially when the paper is thin like these calendars. So then after I got the little cutouts on there, the little samples of the calendars, I took some of this wired jute from Dollar Tree. I finally figured out what to do with it. <laughs> if you saw some of my earlier videos, I tried to use this stuff and it just disintegrates. It falls apart. Like you literally have to glue the ends and then you have to be very careful with it when you, and here I tied it on there too tight. So I was making little tendrils for the pumpkins or the little squares. I was trying to make them look like pumpkins. Um, and I put it on the stick too tight. <laughs> so anyway, what was I saying? Oh, this wire jute. So it, it's a mess. Like if you twist it too tight, it um, falls off the, the wire. And when you cut it, it wants to unravel. So you have to be kind of careful and very delicate with it. And then I was trying to decide, do I put this together and make it two-sided? But then I'm like, nope, I like them separate. Oh, so guys, today is a fall collab. It's Hello Fall. My co-host today is Ellie, DIY from house to home. And if you have not seen Ellie yet, go over and visit her channel and show her some love. She does some really fantastic DIYs. All right, guys, on to DIY number two. All right, so I took this Dollar Tree triple pumpkin, stacked pumpkin, I guess it is what it's called, the stacked pumpkins, and I gave it a coat of white paint. I just thought the orange was too bright, and I want to go more neutral, and if you haven't seen my agave pumpkin that I made with the baskets, oh my goodness, I love that thing. I will post that video up in the cards for you. And anyway, so I just cover this with white paint and then I go over the, the pumpkin with some antiquing wax while the white paint is still wet and kind of blend it in together. And then, and then what am I gonna do? And then after I go over it with the paint and the antiquing wax, I take a baby wipe to it and I kind of wipe it off. 
so that the orange shows through. And I love how this turned out. So then I went over the wording with a black Sharpie to get the um, paint out of the little lines so that you can see the wording and the design on the pumpkin because it is super cute. But I don't know about you guys, but the stem on mine was broken. Actually, the stem on all of them were broken. And when I told the lady that they were broken, she was like, nope, that's how they came. And I go, yeah, they came broken. <laughs> like there was no paint on the stem at all. <laughs> so I had to do something with this. So I do go in the lines and darken them up so that they look more defined. There's a better view. So they look more defined like pumpkins and I think that just livens it up. Okay, now I'm going to paint the little leaves on top and I'm using my Moss Chalk Paint by Waverly made by Plaid. And I just go ahead and paint the stem and the leaves all green. And then I'm going to go in here in a minute and I'm going to define the little lines in the leaves with some antiquing wax. And guys, if you're returning, thank you so much. And if you are new here, I hope you will consider subscribing to my channel. We have a lot of fun on this channel and I'm kind of a ditz and an airhead and I like to sing my words and just be crazy sometimes because that's real life. And I also forget my words like my mom used to. So that's inherited. I don't know because I guess I'm getting old, but not really. I'm really not old. Okay, let's get back to this pumpkin. So I just finish giving it some details. I put little brown lines with the antiquing wax in the leaves. And now I am, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I'm making a bow. <laughs> I'm making a jute bow and I'm just gonna hot glue that right on the top. I'm going over it with a little bit more white just to kind of blend in some of that antiquing wax and there you go all right guys on to DIY number three we're rolling right along okay so I gotta tell you about these leaves oh my goodness these wooden leaves I love them I bought every single package that they had last fall at Walmart and there were I believe three in a pack I think they only had two packs left. They were on clearance for like $1.75 and there was three in the pack. So I got these and I got some wood rounds with the bark. So amazing. And guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to follow me on social media. I have links down in my link tree down below in my description box. Okay, so I didn't film this part of making the actual garland, but I used five smaller beads and then one larger bead, and I used 20 smaller beads. There are five big beads, 20 smaller beads. I used my Cricut and cut out sweater, sweater weather because I love that, and I don't have anything that says that, and I put it on this leaf, and I love how this turned out. I didn't think you guys wanted to watch me string those beads. All right, guys, on to DIY number four. Okay, so I have some more scrap wood and I had, um, the saw was out. So I had my husband go ahead and cut these down to just some squares, no particular size, just cut me some squares. So um, I got a free printable and I will link that down below also in my description box it is on I don't know if you've heard of this lady or not but 
overthebigmoon.com and her name is Pam and she has these Harry Potter drink labels and I thought they were so stinking cute that I wanted to make a sign with them and like I said I will link her website where to get these free printables down below in my description box for you so I just go over the whole block with Waverly's antiquing wax because that's the easiest thing to do instead of getting out the stain, having the smell and dealing with all that. So I cover the whole thing with antiquing wax. I take a paper towel and I wipe it off. So here are these stinking cute printables. Oh my goodness. It's super easy and it goes super quick. Okay guys. So I started to take my scissors and cut this and then I thought, no, use your water and your paintbrush because I like that torn look and don't use too much water a little bit goes a long way and you just use a tiny paintbrush and put the water where you want to tear your paper and it tears off perfectly like absolutely perfectly look at the line between the two pieces of paper seriously it's so so simple and then I was sizing it to my piece of wood and so I'm just cutting it down and adding more water where I want to tear the paper and then I just tear it away and it fits perfectly on here. So guys, again, I want to say thank you to all my returning subscribers and a big, huge thank you to my new subscribers because without you guys, like we wouldn't be on here. We wouldn't be on YouTube and it is such an awesome community. All my subscribers, new and old, are so amazing and I love you all. And guys, we are almost to 2000 subscribers. I've only been doing this for a year and I know some other channels have grown a lot faster than I have, but I am, I am so over the moon with how hard I've been working and how recognized, like, I mean, just you guys subscribing and commenting is so much recognition and it just lights up my day. Like I cannot explain to you how amazing it feels to have somebody appreciate your work and the job that you do and your creativity because if I cannot be creative I just I don't know what I would do if I couldn't be creative so okay enough about that thank you so much anyway I want to say and um, I hope you enjoy the rest of this video so just add some Mod Podge over the pumpkin juice label and I let that dry and then I embellish it off camera we'll see that in the final reveal we're on to DIY number five this is the last one and I had already put together these little pots that um, I got for free most of them let's see um, I recycled them because I bought succulents from Trader Joe's I was trying to think of that store so what I'm doing is I am just going over these pots with more white paint and antiquing wax and I'm kind of, I'm blending them in together because I love how that looks and I am making little pumpkins out of them. Now I didn't show where I embellished these little items that I made at the end, but you will see how I embellish them. I was trying to make this video super short and um, I don't think I accomplished that, <laughs> but I tried. I wanted to hold your guys' interest in, and I didn't want you to see me painting and, and all that stuff the whole time. So basically I am just antiquing these, going over them with white until I'm satisfied with how they look. And then I go back in and I add some raffia to these, to the tops of these, and they turn out so cute. It is time for the final reveal. Here is my garland. And like I said, I used five big beads total and I put them in between five little beads. And guys, don't forget to go over and visit Ellie channel. I will have the link to her channel down below in my description box. I will also have the link to the playlist of all the amazing creators that joined us on this Hello Fall collaboration. And that playlist link will also be down in the description box and I will also pin it in the comments. And if you haven't gone over and checked out my uh, community page on YouTube, you might try that. Um, stop by over there and just say hi. I post new videos. I post um, the winners of my giveaways. I do sneak peeks. I do all kinds of different posts over there. So you might uh, stop by and just say hi. 
my concrete letters. I love those concrete letters still. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it down below. All right, guys, I want to thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you go over and see Evie and watch the rest of the playlist. These ladies are so amazingly talented and you will not be disappointed. And if you like this video, here's some others that you might like as well. Have a good day. Bye.